Chengdu could very naturally and organically develop a hallmark or mega event. The key is to develop this with the right motives in mind. Oftentimes the motive is solely economic to create long-lasting economic impact. There has never been a study of any hallmark event, the Olympic Games, the Super Bowl, the Commonwealth Games, the World Cup, that shown there was a long-term economic benefit to a destination. However, there has always been a long-term benefit in terms of social development, social cohesion, cultural engagement and enrichment, and environmental sustainability. So if Chengdu were to focus on social, cultural, and environmental impacts in developing these iconic mega hallmark events, then it can be more successful and indeed earn the right to be called the cultural capital of Asia. I believe by engaging with other cities and studying their best practices, there is an opportunity for Chengdu to develop a cultural fusion that is not solely based upon Asian tradition, but fuses some of the best practices from fashion, from gastronomy, from sustainable development, the environment, to create something that is unique and sustainable for Chengdu. One example of a type of event that Chengdu could create based upon the best practices in other cities would be called a festival of the future. And the festival of the future would be looking at those opportunities, those challenges that haven't been addressed previously and finding ways to offer enlightenment. It reminds me of in Edinburgh in the 18th century, we had a period called the Scottish Enlightenment. During that period, the world's greatest thinkers came to Edinburgh and they developed great medical discoveries, great scientific concepts such as the kaleidoscope, something that's creative. I think Chengdu is perfectly placed to create the Asian enlightenment in this city.